So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the world, and it's with the tower. Now, the world card is actually about completion. You've worked hard, and you're almost to the finish line in some way. So, just don't quit now, because I say this, you're, I, say, I say this because you're so close. You could definitely feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it, because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are, at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work and you get the world card, for some of you, there could be a chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and way too little money. So, it's important, if this is the case, blow your own horn toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments now it's with the tower tower card it can be about trying to hold too tightly to, to the status quo which can be a disaster you have to roll with the changes it could be that some people situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because we all know that change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be because you can you can definitely replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams. If some fantasies fall apart. Yeah, you can replace them. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So, Aries, recent past energy world clarified about by the tower. So the message that I'm getting is that for some of you, the relationship you you or the person you were involved with or the relationship that you had with someone, it looks like it, it fell apart. Yeah, that's what that tower is doing. It's just crumbling down. It's falling apart. Um, but it's with the world card. So a lot of you Aries, you realize that it needed to fall apart. And it was time for this chapter to close. Yeah. Now the good thing about the tower is that you're always enlightened by this disaster. So you were awakened. It fell apart. But your eyes were wide open after it fell apart, or maybe even before. You started to see things for what it really was. Or see your person for who they really are. You were no longer wearing rose-tinted glasses or seeing things through blurred vision. Yeah, you saw everything clearly. It fell apart for some of you. And most of you realize that it was it was time for closure. It was time for this journey to end with this person. Because the world card is about completion. It's about closure, ending a chapter, closing out a cycle. So that's a recent past energy between you and your person. But let's take a look. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Seven of Wands and so the Six of Swords. Now, the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. 
Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this, say this because your thinking is clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. Seven of Wands, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Six of Swords, which can indicate some type of movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So you want to take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery will be helpful. And just know that this does not have to cost money. So coming up, Aries, seven of wands clarified by the six of swords. So yeah, like I said, most of you are going to realize that this tower was a good thing. Like I said, it, the world card is saying it was time to close out the, the chapter with this person anyways. It was probably long overdue. So coming up with the Seven of Wands showing up here. Yeah. You're going to want to come out on top of something. You're going to want to win something. It could be some new beginnings or some new plans and goals that you have coming up for 2021. Um, there's something or maybe even it's a person. It could be someone coming toward you. They want to win the connection with you. But for a lot of you, I'm getting that for 2021, this new year, there's things that you realize that you, you want to do. Things that you want to accomplish. And you weren't able to do this while, while you were with this person. Because you were, your energy was so focused on the connection. So focused on what was going on in the relationship. So you're really realizing how much of a good thing this is by not being with this person. Some of you are going to desire, some of you will decide to um, come out of conflict with this person because you, you realize that it's draining you emotionally still. And the only way for you to make accomplishments and have new beginnings in your life is to free, free your mind, clear your energy. Yeah. So the Six of Swords, the card below the word present. That's, that's my friend zone card. You might just decide to um, come up with some kind of way to be at peace with this person. Yeah. Just so that you can free your mind, clear your clear any negative energy. And if you're not thinking about that, I don't know, maybe some of you might might want to try it. It just depends on the person. Sometimes the the person they're not um down with it. They like to keep some type of negative energy going that this way, they, they'll know you're drained emotionally. You got some people that like to keep some mess going. So that the both of you will stay connected. In a really negative way. You know that's what happens when you have hard feelings towards someone. Or your energy is not healthy towards someone. It causes you to stay connected to that person, whether you like to or not. But anyways, most of you are going to be able to move, just move into a, to calmer waters with, with this person. Because you, you, want a, you want a clear hit coming up for 2021, 20, for the new year. And you don't want anything to drain you emotionally or physically. Because Seven of Wands is showing there's something or maybe someone that you, that, that um, you want to come out on top with. 
You want to win something. That's what the Seven of Wands can be about. Yeah, you first, there's something you want to be the last man standing with. It's, there is something. A person, a situation, or maybe someone is someone else is feeling this way towards you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Eight of Wands. And it's with the Three of Wands. Now this Eight of Wands, it actually is showing that there's a lot of things up in the air when you get this card. You may feel frustrated, tired of waiting, but it's an indicator just to be patient a little while longer. You maybe have done all that you can do. Now decisions have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things. Because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our, our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. Now it's with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, you could find that your finances, they're, they're going much better. In fact, it could feel like it's time when your ship has finally come in. So you're likely to be, be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could start to finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So you'll want to give yourself some credit coming up. So, the challenge Aries, Eight of Wands, clarified by this Three of Wands. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's someone that you know, or maybe someone you met. Someone new, someone you know, or someone coming towards you. There's going to be a lot of communication. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the Eight of Wands. The communication is going to be... Um, back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes it will be up in the air because I'm looking at this bird. The picture of the Eight of Wands. It's the card above the word challenge. See how this bird, he's flying above the wands and he's way up in the air, up in the clouds. So sometimes the communication will be up in the air. You could be waiting, just waiting to hear from this person. Yeah. For most of you, it um, could be someone that you know already. Yeah. Now, with the Three of Wands showing um, as a clarifier for this Eight of Wands, it's showing that this person, or if it's not a person, maybe it's a situation, um, you're going to want to go forward. You've made a decision. Because the Three of Wands is about making a decision. You're no longer tried and trying to decide. You've made a decision and you're going forward. So whatever this is, if it's a person or a situation, with all this communication and talk, you're going forward with this. You've made a decision. You feel like this is it. Your ship has finally arrived. Maybe it's someone new. Yeah, now for a lot of you, it, it could be, because I'm just taking a look at the outcome. Let's see what's going on with this outcome. Okay, we got the Knight of Swords, and it's with the Lovers. Now, the Knight of Swords, it brings a very uh, upbeat and cheerful energy. The Knights can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or, so, or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, and being out and about. Getting things, com getting things accomplished is actually the Knight of Swords. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything. The Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. Now, it's with the Lover's card, which is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that 
when this card appears. Give me one second. Okay, sorry, it's possible that when the lover's card appears in a reading, you're you could start to feel ambivalent about a relationship or maybe even a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. And they say that's either fear or love. But when you can, it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card. Because it's a time when love is brought to you in big, bold letters. Big, bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this would be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really, really happy about how romance is going. Yeah, and others will notice how how you're glowing. You'll be beaming like a Christmas tree. Lover's card is beautiful. Absolutely. So your outcome, Nine of Swords, clarified by lovers. <laughs> so... Like I said, this communication that we just talked about, it could be someone new, maybe it's someone you already know, or someone coming towards you. This person, they'll like being with you. The Nine of Swords is the type that, that's always rushing in, and they'll cut out or put a stop to whatever gets in their way just to be with you. Knight of Swords wants to sweep you off your feet. Yeah. Like I said, if you're waiting on waiting to hear from someone, you're gonna like what you hear when you get the Knight of Swords. Yes, you will. And because it's with the lover's card, this person could be a soulmate. A strong soulmate. Because the lover's card is about a union, it's about a coming together. It's the strength of two. It could feel like you finally have a partnership. Um, there's deep love when you get the lotus card. Like I said, the strength of two, and it's also about falling in love. So, for a lot of you Aries, you're going to get hit by the love bug. You're going to get hit or bit. What do they say? You get bit by the love bug? Yeah, I think you get bit. Bit, bitten by the love bug. For a lot of you, that's what it that's what it's showing. And someone is gonna be very, very happy to have you. They're always gonna be rushing in to be with you. They'll they'll stop doing whatever it is just to be with you. Now, like I said, this could be I don't know. Eight of Wands is showing a lot of communication. So I'm thinking it could be someone you know already, but could be someone new. Your soulmate, maybe even a strong, a strong soulmate, maybe even a twin flame. That's what the lover's card can be. Yeah, and you're going forward. Three of Wands says that there's no second guessing. You've made a decision, and you're you're going for it. Yeah, you no longer have the emotional, you no longer have your emotional energy being drained by this tower moment that happened with someone. You closed out that chapter. So good for you, Aries. Yeah, sounds like a, an exciting t uh, New Year's coming up for you. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. They do not. Yeah, they do not always resonate with everyone. Just remember, um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. 
yeah, I'm losing track of words. But come back and join me for the next reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Like I said, come back and join me for the next reading. Hopefully, if this didn't resonate, maybe the next reading will. I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that all of you had a wonderful Christmas. And I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care.